Uh, bottle of water. What's your cost? It's upside down. It's alright. Let me just, uh, it's alright, I'll address it on camera. I'll address it on camera. Sorry. Ah, you put it above this guy. No, 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 but I'll address it on camera, it's fine. Action. So some brothers have pointed out that the cross was upside down. Let me just explain this. It is a myth in our culture created by the ignorance of our culture. The Christians think that this is an antichrist symbol. What is it, Bob? It's the symbol of Saint Peter, a man who was crucified for his martyrdom in our Lord, is for his faith in our Lord. But because he felt himself unworthy to be crucified in the, and to die in the same way of our Lord, he asked his executioners to crucify him upside down. Okay. It's a symbol of humility amongst Christians to have the cross upside down. It's an imitation of Peter. But as it happened, that wasn't deliberate. It's just, for whatever reason, this particular pin seems to prefer being that way than this way. Okay? What's your opinion on Satan is using the cross upside down, Bob? It shows that Satanism is a modern cult made up by people who, have, who, who are literally, literally just inventing their religion because they're taking symbols that they don't understand and using them. They're investing them with new meaning. But however, that doesn't mean that as Christians we should abandon our symbols or our faith just because other people don't understand it and are abusing those same symbols. Okay. Christians, if you ever heard anything from me, I teach again and again and again about having confidence in our identity as Christians. That means having confidence in our culture. Not like those pretend female bishops in Sweden who cover the cross because they don't want to offend Muslims who are, they've invited into the church. Or those pretend religious leaders in the north of England who cover the cross because they are ashamed of it so that they don't offend Muslims who they've invited to break the fast in their church. Christians. There are Christians in China going to prison because they would rather go to prison than surrender the cross. Christians, wear your cross with pride in your workplaces. Wear your cross with pride on the streets. And if it offends, it offends. If you are discriminated against, you're discriminated against. If it upsets, it upsets. If you go to prison for it, then celebrate that you are being persecuted for the sake of the Lord. Amen. Don't be like the liberal, wet, weak kind of Anglican Christian who for multicultural sake would deny the vision of the cross Ooh. to Muslims because they don't want it to offend them. Ooh. I have two stories about this. All right. I went on holiday in Morocco. All right. I was walking around at Marrakesh and I, without knowledge, I was walking up to a mosque wearing a cross and I remember this Muslim coming to me, he was really angry. Okay. I don't know what he was saying because he was speaking in Arabic All right. but he was pointing at my cross and gesticulating and being very verbose and he was saying no, no and then stuff in Arabic and no, no, pointing to my cross and I held it up to him. And I said, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> the cross is beautiful. And we don't need to deny our identity for anyone. That's right. I would rather lose my job than lose my identity. Yeah. I would rather the peace and the concord of the land be lost than lose my identity. God. Jesus said, what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world but loses his soul? He did not say that. That's exactly what Jesus said. <laughs> he just said it in Aramaic. <laughs> so, moving on. Well, the other story. Or, the other story. The other story that I have. Thank you, James. Hey, Bob, I've, actually, there. I've, actually, I've actually forgotten the other story now. Hey, hijab is there, by the way. What? Welcome Hijab! Yay! Yeah, we'll go speak to Hijab in a bit. So Christians, don't be ashamed of your identity. Never. Don't be ashamed of your culture. Never. Wear your cross with pride. Right. Wear your cross with pride. 
Please note oh, wait, wait, wait. the very deliberate iconography here. Yeah. The cross of the three saints, St. George, St. Patrick, and St. Andrew, Andrew, under the cross of Christ, declaring the resurrection. Amen, amen. So, oh, cut, and now we're going to do another talk. All right.